I've been working from home successfully for over 15 years. It can be challenging at times, but it can also be very rewarding. So in this video, we'll go over my top 10 tips for working or schooling from home. Really quick before we get into it, today's video is sponsored by Atlantic.net. Atlantic.net provides great VPS hosting and they are offering a free one gig virtual server with SSDs and block storage for free for a year plus $25 in free credits to use for other services they offer if you use the link in the description below. It's super easy to use. After I signed up, I was able to provision a new server in less than 30 seconds. And unlike other big names in this industry, they have great, always available technical support. They also have incredible reliability and redundancy on their servers. So try Atlantic.net to develop, test, or launch your next project. Click the link in the description below and use the code STACKER to get your $25 in credit. Here's the first tip. You have to have a set schedule and routine and stick to it. Get up every day at the same time. Just because you're at home doesn't mean you get to sleep in and just do whatever you want. While we're talking about sleep, getting adequate sleep is essential. Don't stay up all night thinking that you can just sleep in or roll out of bed and go straight to work at 9 a.m. You'd be setting yourself up for a really bad and unproductive day. Stick to your schedule and routine as much as possible. Starting and stopping your workday at the same time every day will help you to keep your work life separate from your personal life. If you don't do this, you risk your work life blending into your personal life and before you know it, you're just always in work mode. If your workday ends at 5, then stop at 5. This is most important for your own sanity. The second tip is to get ready. Part of having a routine is getting ready for the day every morning. Get dressed and go through your normal morning routine, as you would if you were going into work or school. Make your bed, eat breakfast, fix coffee, all of the things that you would normally do. This will put you in the work or school mindset. Exercise is also very important. If you can do some kind of workout before starting your day, you'll feel so much better and you'll have more energy throughout the day. And don't forget to get up and stretch or walk around the house every 30 to 60 minutes. We'll talk about taking breaks in a minute. Now, if at all possible, you need a dedicated workspace. Preferably, this would be an office or room where you can shut the door. If that's not an option for you, then use the kitchen table or whatever table you have available. Set this space up with all of the essentials. You may need to get a power strip, notepad, pens, set up multiple monitors if you can, and an external keyboard and mouse will make you much more productive if you have a laptop. Obviously, if this is a temporary setup, you may not be able to go all out, but if this is a permanent setup or even semi-permanent for the foreseeable future, then you may want to put some extra thought into everything that you'll need to be productive and efficient. Lists are the next tip. Make a to-do list with all of your objectives for the day. Prioritize these. Pick two or three items that you absolutely have to get done and work on getting these done first. After that, any others that get completed will just be icing on the cake. Be sure to be realistic with your goals. Don't set yourself up for failure. And like I was saying before, breaks are very important, and I would advise you to schedule your breaks. Otherwise, you'll lose track of time and forget to take breaks. Use a kitchen timer if you have one. Breaks are important for your brain to rest. You'll find that you'll come back with a renewed focus. Next up is minimize distractions. In order to accomplish your daily goals, you'll need to ensure that there are minimal to no distractions. Again, if you have a home office or a room where you can close the door, this would be ideal. This might be one of the biggest issues when working from home. You have to have the willpower to avoid TV, games, and your phone. Just because you're at home and no one's watching, you may say, I'll just watch five minutes of Netflix on my break. Two hours later? Yeah, don't do that. Whatever is unacceptable for you to do at work is also unacceptable for you to do when working from home. If you are working from your kitchen table, what is right there next to you? The refrigerator and pantry. Try not to eat too much. It could be very tempting to eat all day, and this can be a distraction depending on what it is. Some foods are messy to eat, like chips, and you don't want to use your keyboard and mouse with greasy fingers, do you? I'm not saying don't eat snacks throughout the day, just don't let it become a distraction, and try to choose healthy snacks whenever possible. Also, if you have others at home with you, it might be difficult to focus, especially if there are children at home and they are, well, just being children. It may get noisy. So it's important for everyone to understand that you are actually working and you'll need to try your best to find a quiet place if possible. That leads me into the next tip, set boundaries. You'll need to set boundaries with others that might be home with you. If there are other adults, you'll need to help them to understand that you are actually working. Would they normally go to your place of work or school to talk to you? It should be no different when you're working at home. 
If you have children at home, hopefully you have someone that can watch them. But if that's not an option, then you'll just have to do the best you can. Children need attention, and they should always be your main priority. You may have to work your schedule around them and their nap times if they're younger. If they're older, then help them to understand that you need to work and try to find things to keep them busy around the house. And if you have animals, especially dogs, you'll need to schedule time for them too. Take your dogs for a walk or let them out for potty breaks at the same times every day. Tire them out before work if possible. It won't take long for them to get used to you being at home. Cats are a different story. They will jump up and walk all over your keyboard, so get used to that. Hopefully you can keep them out of the room where you're working. Next up is communication. Communication is a must when you're working from home. You need to communicate with your coworkers and your boss as much as possible. Let them know what you're working on. Celebrate wins together. Schedule routine conference calls. This way your boss will not be wondering what you're doing or if you're being productive. The most important things about working from home are getting your work done and keeping your job. So do your best to keep open lines of communication with everyone involved. Video conferences are key to working from home. So to ensure that everything goes smoothly, make sure that you test everything ahead of time. Make sure that your camera and microphone are working. Depending on what software you use for video calls, you may need to tweak some settings to get everything working on the correct camera and headset or microphone. Also, think about your background. You most likely need to look professional, so not only is your personal appearance important, but also your background that will be visible on the camera is important. So it might take some time to get used to working or schooling from home, but it can be done. Just keep these tips in mind and you'll stay productive and successful even from home. Like this video and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.